Hello and welcome to Read With Us. Today's story is Harrison Spader, Personal Space Invader. Words by Christiane Jones, pictures by Cale Atkinson. Harrison Spader, Personal Space Invader. Before we go through the story, do you know what a personal space invader is? What? If not, let's read on. I hope you're excited to read along with us. Harrison Spader loved life and wanted to share his love with everyone. However, Harrison's overly joyful ways were causing problems. When Harrison was little, it wasn't that bad. But the problem grew every year. Can you already see what the problem is? He sat a little too close, shook hands for a little too long, high-fived a little too hard and hugged a little too hard. Oh. And Harrison loved to talk to his friends up close. Are those crumbs on the lion's cheek and in his mane? Harrison Spader was a personal space invader. There was that rounders game where Harrison was supposed to be trying to catch the ball. And that other time, when he went swimming with his friends. And who could forget the bus journey to the zoo or story time at the library? His friends don't look very impressed, do they? His family was used to snuggling in close. They were just that type of family. Are you that type of family? Do you like hugs? But after calls from teachers and other parents, Harrison's dad thought perhaps he should have a chat with Harrison. Oh, those look like some very angry parents and teachers. Harrison, I hear you are having trouble staying in your own space, his dad said. Not really. I don't need much space. Harrison replied, but other people sometimes do need their space, his dad explained. When I was your age, my mum taught me something called the space saver, his dad said. It's really simple. Let's all do the space saver together. Arms out front then out really wide. Now place your arms back by your sides. Let's try it again. Arms out front, then out really wide. Now place your arms back by your sides. I hope you got your arms out really, really wide. If you can do the space saver, without touching anyone, you have left the right amount of space, his dad told him. Harrison and his dad practiced the space saver over and over and over. Let's try with them one more time. Arms out front, then out really wide. Come on, really, really wide. Really stretch those arms. Now place your arms back by your sides. By the end of the night, the entire family was doing it. The next day, Harrison used the space saver every chance he got. He loved it. Harrison even used it when he didn't need to, which he thought was extra clever. Look at his face and that grin. 
His friends, however, still don't seem very pleased. I wonder why that is. Let's find out. However, his teacher and friends weren't as impressed. Harrison couldn't understand why. Harrison's dad gave him a few more tips about personal space. I know you like the space saver, but sometimes it might be too crowded for it. Then just put your arms down. Be still and try to stay in your own space, his dad said. Got it, dad, Harrison replied. And Harrison really did get it this time. On the bus journey to school the next day, Harrison wanted to squash in a seat with two of his friends. But Harrison found himself a seat with some space instead. And that was just the beginning. At his next rounders game, Harrison really did pay attention to the game. When he went swimming with his friends, he took his own float. Look how happy his friends look now. They're smiling. And during story time, he actually sat on his own mat and didn't move it closer to anyone. This took extra restraint for Harrison, but he did it. Three cheers for Harrison. Hip, hip, hip. Hooray! 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 He did it! Harrison didn't get it right all of the time. Leaving personal space can be tricky, especially when you love life as much as Harrison does. And of course, everybody needs a hug sometimes. Aww. Aww. Now Harrison got it right most of the time and that was a relief for everyone. The end. Harrison's spader sits a little too close, shakes hands for a little too long, high fives a little too hard and hugs a little too much. Harrison's spader is a personal space invader. And here are other little boost books you may like. Bella the Storyteller and Invisible Isabel. These books are by Curious Fox. I hope you enjoyed reading along with us. Do join us next time for the next fun-filled book. Goodbye for now. My name is V Boy Kels. <laughs> Welcome to my world. This is my channel. Guys, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Pretty boy.